Yo, my name is Benjamin and in this video I'm very excited to introduce the skill tool. Let's have a look. To open the skill tool I can simply hit K. This takes over the property panel revealing our scaling options. First the skill input with a bunch of handy presets. Next the origin control defining the transform origin. And you can even scrub these values for precise control and then right click on the steppers to reset. And finally, the size control allowing you to pick a specific width or height to scale to. So I'll scale it down to 800 pixels, which is a 0.8 X. And this has scaled the entire layout block taken from a web page to 800 pixels with all the contents within still customizable from the text layers to the videos. My favorite way to scale a layer is by hitting K, typing a factor, and then hitting enter. So we select a layer, K, factor, enter. The scale input accepts just a number like 0.5, but also 0.5x. And as you can see, the scale tool works with all sorts of unique setups. In this case, unique masking layers, whether it's luminance masking, SVG masks, radial gradient masking, and even more complex composited or layered masking setups, with all layers remaining customizable. We can also scale assets, and even multiple assets at once. Here I have two Framer assets designed in Framer. I can select both of them, hit K, and maybe here let's change the origin as well. And then I'll scale both of them to 600 pixels. And of course, each of these assets maintains their respective aspect ratio. Very useful for exporting. Scaling also works for responsive layouts and elements like graphics. This header, for example, contains both. So with it selected, I can hit K, type 0.5x and scale it down in one go. This can also be done for elements within a layout like a text layer or a frame. And when using fractional sizing, you'll find the rest of the layout instantly adapt after a skill. Things like font sizes, radius, and borders will all adapt to your skill factor. And finally, when the skill tool is active, we also render the scaling controls around your selection. This means I can also scale layers directly on the canvas without having to type anything. And depending on where you scale from, Framer will infer the correct origin. And that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more updates coming soon.